okay in this video we're going to uh, do some evaluating expressions and what we're going to focus on are these problems down here where we're going to evaluate these algebra expressions for the given values but as a way to warm up let's just practice some of these problems up here to remind us of our order of operations or PEMDAS right please excuse my dear aunt Sally so here, let's just do 1. 6 squared is 36. 36 minus 5 is 31, right? Let's do 4. 4 divided by 2 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3, right? And let's skip, jump up here to 2. 5 plus 2 plus 2 is the same thing as 5 plus 4 or 9. And then here, this is a good problem. These cancel out, so you're just left with 3. So if you can do problems 1 through 4, you should be able to do the rest of the problem. So here you've got 1 plus r. Well, we know r is 3. And we're going to multiply r times p, which is 6. So we're just plugging in the numbers. That's why it's, we're substituting the numbers. That's why it's called substitution. Well, 3 times 6 is 18. So this becomes... 1 plus 18, which now is 19. Right here, you got x minus x, so we don't even need to worry about the x values. Because any number minus itself is 0, so we know z is 1. So z is 1. If you wanted to plug in the numbers to see it for yourself, 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. Alright, I like problems like 7 here. There's two ways to do this. You could go ahead and distribute out your z, which you'd have 2z plus y times z. Everyone is substitute everywhere I see a y, I'm gonna write down to 3, so I'm gonna just do 2z plus 3z. Now everywhere I see a z, I'm gonna put a 5, so I'm gonna do 2 times 5 plus 3 times 5. So I got 10 plus 15 because 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times 5 is 15 which gives me 25, right? Or if you wanted you could have said 5 times 2 plus 3. Where did I get this 5 from? Right here. Z. And I know Z is 5. And I know y is 3, so 2 plus 3 is 5. You still got 25. Or if you wanted to distribute your 5 for fun, you would have 5 times 2 was 3 times 5. And then you got 10 plus 15, which once again is 25. So multiple ways to approach this problem here. Number 7, I would practice... The different ways I showed you and then just concentrate on what works best for you. Let's do uh, number 10. P plus M. Well P is 5. So I'm going to write down 5 plus M. What's M? 4. It's divided by 3. It's, and there's kind of an understood parentheses here, right? If you don't see the parentheses, you always do what's on top of your fraction bar first. Because otherwise, you'd wind up with 5 plus 4 divided by 3 and get some crazy number. But what's 5 plus 4? I think it's 9. I want to say 9 divided by 3 is 3. And let's um, look for anything that looks a little bit different. Let's do... Let's do 13. You got C, which is 6, minus 1 cubed. Well, 1 cubed is joined, so you got 6 minus 1, which is equal to 5. And I think the rest of them you should be able to do. If not, just ask me in class. If you're following me on YouTube, go to the uh, link and the, uh, you know, just follow the uh, link in the description and you'll find this worksheet for some practice.